All right, what's going on, everybody? Today we will be taking a look at the second gun from the Battle Pass, if you got it, and it is the Submachine Gun Tanto .22, aka the Thorn. Right. We're going to do a couple of matches with this gun, see how it fares out. But first, uh, I didn't do this in the last one, um, so you know I'm ever evolving, trying to figure out the best way to make these videos. So what we're going to do is take a look at the weapon and what all attachments it comes with. So let's take a look at that. So it comes with uh, the Merlin Mini. It comes with the Compensator, which, what is that? What's this one do for us? Vertical recoil control, which is good. We need vertical recoil control. Uh, the Reinforced Barrel, which gives us bullet uh, velocity and damage range. Not bad. And we get a, a, the Extended Mag 1. So just you know, a couple more bullets. But it does uh hamper our reload quickness, which is whatever. Consequences. Alright, so came in late. We hear people running. Taking the lead. Stay on task. All right. Can't test out a gun if we can't use it. I try to just walk, walk and hard scope and Sounds like everybody's up top. Ah, uh, I tried to get down. So handling feels okay. I definitely like this better than the last gun. Hey, Same team, buddy. Trigger. Same team. Oh, almost. Almost, buddy. This dude saved my life twice. Sorry. I think he was trying to do something cool. Oh my god, all three of them. Oh, shit. Yes, definitely like this gun way better. You know, come. Ah, I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Save me. Shit. Like, 
We're not doing the best, but I mean, I definitely like this better than the last one. He should have killed me, 'Cause my team
Why in the hell was he there? What you got? You're gonna shoot me, and there's my teammate right there. Anybody? No? Okay. Thought I'd check. Identify enemy Oh! Of course he's hiding in the fucking corner right there. Of course. Why wouldn't he be? Not the widest of decisions. What a whore. Archangel's up. Definitely don't feel like I should have lost that fight, but it's okay. Rude. I missed everything. Requesting recon above. Oh, that was low. Why are there two of them just sitting there? Your assault 
backpack has been destroyed. Eyes on enemy. Eh, come on. Terminated. What are you doing? One of my least favorite things. Fuck. What kind of this? I really gotta look for those. Horrible. Why? <laughs> Motherfucker taking a nap in the beds. Still sitting there. Are you serious? <clears throat> All right, come get resupply. I mean, it's worth a shot to see if that will hit him. You know. I'll accept it. Uh, so, bottom line review, I definitely like this gun way better than the uh, the the Gauntlet MK2, the Boiling Point. Um, I'm just not a huge fan of uh, single shots. Um, one negative about this that I can tell it it's a slower fire rate than for a normal SMG, in my opinion. But you know, what do I know? Uh, and also, I don't really see the need for an extended mag, so, I mean, I'm, you don't have to use, obviously, you do not have to use this build uh, when you're playing the game. It is a, uh, the camo is cool, I like it, the kind of metallic looking, and, you know, the colors are fun. Um, but, overall, uh, it's not bad. It could definitely use some improvements with other attachments, so, you know, if you do, you want to use this gun, by all means, give it a go. Um, and then build it the way you want it. Um, next video, we'll go over the, the shotgun ASG-89 turmoil. So this will be our next one. So, uh, tune in. I hope you guys are enjoying. Uh, I did want to show, let's see, I'll, since I didn't show it on the last one, I wanted to show the attachments for, where is it? So I wanted to show the attachments for the uh, boiling point. 
So it has a Kepler red dot, uh, the compensator. Um, obviously, this just gives you a better uh, uh, precision. And the compensator will give you vertical recoil control. Um, CHF barrel uh, headshot multiplier, but also dampers your vertical and horizontal. So I would definitely, I, I wouldn't use that. I would not use that. I would more go for, uh, if you have it, go for the long barrel uh, and or, uh, not that one. Where is it? If you have it fully unlocked, I would definitely go for the reinforced barrel. Way better, and there's no cons for it. So... Uh, that is 100% what I would go with. Um, uh, what is extended mag, not not needed in my opinion, especially if you're doing multiplayer uh, zombies. Maybe, maybe. Uh, fire control, fire mods. This is good. I definitely like uh, the recoil spring. Um, but in my opinion, I would take the magazine off and put on rear grip and something for your underbarrel. And you do not need this. The Kepler red dot. You did for that. Um, if you want something, I would go for the Prisma Tech Reflex. I find that to be pretty good. Um, but I, I feel like for most assault rifles, you do not need scopes. Just a, a good, fun red dot. Red dots are perfectly fine. Um, I'm not a huge fan of anything for my muzzle. It, I mean, they, they do have some help, but. If anything, I like to use suppressors. Um, these don't really jump you up too much. I mean, uh, kick, reset, speed, just better accuracy. Yeah. Um, or just don't use anything at all, really, and put that more towards the underbarrel or stock. That's what I would do. But what do I know? So I hope you guys are enjoying uh, the gun previews or reviews, uh, as always, leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button, help me reach my 500 uh, subscriber goal. But until next time, take you later. Peace.